This is a specimen of the abdominal aorta branching or bifurcating into the right and left common iliac arteries. So I'm just going to turn it around so that you can have a look. Um, the aorta itself, the wall is still intact, but the obvious abnormality is this dilatation and this fusiform dilatation or increase in diameter of the aorta as well as the common iliac arteries bilaterally. So here is uh, the normal approximate diameter of the abdominal aorta, which is about 2 centimeters. And if you look carefully at the area of dilatation, I'm just going to magnify this area, you can see that there are these yellowish deposits beneath the endothelium, and these are atheromatous plaques. Atherosclerosis, as you know, actually causes decreased elasticity and it causes weakening of the wall of these uh, arteries. Hence, the tendency to dilate in a high-pressure system. If we carry on, we can actually see that there are some brownish patches or plaques on the endothelial surface of the aorta, and these are areas of thrombosis, probably due to plaque ulceration. And of course, one of the possible complications of thrombosis is embolization, which can affect the distal blood vessels as well as the branches. The danger in aneurysm is that the wall actually becomes thinned out, and therefore there is a risk of rupture. And in a vessel as large as the aorta, the rupture can be catastrophic, can lead to very rapid exsanguination and death. So just to summarize, this is the specimen of the abdominal aorta showing a fusiform dilatation of the distal part of the aorta as well as the right and left common iliac arteries. So this is an aneurysm of the aorta with underlying atherosclerosis and there are also several areas of thrombosis secondary to plaque ulceration.